Hello friends, in the previous video we have discussed the contraceptive methods for male. Now in this video we will be discussing about contraceptive methods for female. So let's get started. First of all, let's see the events that take place in female like we have seen the events in male. In case of females, we see these events take place between production of oocytes up to the implantation of blastocyst. And you might be wondering why we are going to see these events. It's because these events are going to be halted or disturbed by contraceptive methods. So that's why we'll first see the events that are taking place and then we will see where these methods are going to be applied. So let's get into it. First event that takes place is the production of primary oocyte. These cells are immature and are always deployed in nature. That's they have 46 number of chromosomes still. But after that, we see the development of primary oocyte and finally we get the ohm, which is mature cell with haploid number of chromosomes. That's 23 number of chromosomes in it. Because it's going to be fused with sperm, that's also going to have 23 number of chromosomes. And we will get finally the 46 number of chromosomes back again after fertilization. After that development, the ovulation takes place, which is the release of egg from ovaries. And after that, there is a capture of oocyte by ov duct and after the capture of oocyte or we can say capture of egg the transport of oocyte takes place in ov duct and it's in that ov duct the sperm fuses with or we can say sperm meets with egg in female so we can say it's a meeting of sperm and oocyte in ov duct and after their meeting there's a union of sperm and egg or when there is union of sperm and egg or we can say the fusion of sperm and egg there is the implantation of blastocyst in endometrium so as i have already said these events are going to be halted by contraceptive methods for male either it may be between the production of primary oocytes and ovulation or it may be between ovulation and capture of oocyte or between transport or it may be spermicide or any other thing so let's see what kind of methods are in contraceptive methods for female? The first method is the birth control pill. It is the procedure to suppress the ovulation process. When there is no ovulation, the sperm will have nothing to fertilize and there will be no pregnancy. These birth control pills are a synthetic form of hormones progesterone and estrogen. They prevent ovulation by maintaining more consistent hormone levels or we can say they mimic the hormone levels during menstrual cycle in females. Without a peak in estrogen, the ovary does not get signal to release egg and simply we can see no releasing of egg means no fertilization means no pregnancy. Simple. Then we have a contraceptive injection. It's another method to control ovulation. It's actually a hormone injected in a female body, a progestogen injected into the body that lasts for 8 to 13 weeks depending on the type of injection. It's a long acting reversible contraception that does not depend on taking it daily and is more than 99% effective. Then we have a contraceptive patch. The contraceptive patch is a small patch that you stick onto the skin that releases estrogen and progestogen. It stops evolution also. And finally the fourth one is the vaginal ring. Is a contraceptive vaginal ring. It is a small plastic ring a woman inserts into her vagina every month and releases hormones to stop ovulation. Just like the contraceptive patch releases hormone, it also releases hormone to control evolution or to stop evolution completely. If the said methods are not applied for contraceptive measures, we have methods of evolution event also, which is by using a female condom. The female condom is made of thin polyurethane that loosely lines the vagina and stops sperm from entering. And the egg which was released remains unfertilized because it does not receive any sperm because it has been blocked by condom. Then there is a novel method that is called tubal ligation for contraceptive measures or we can say it is also called tubectomy. It is a surgical procedure for sterilization in which a woman's Fallopian tubes are clamped and blocked, either of which prevents eggs from reaching the uterus for implantation. 
tubal ligation is considered a permanent method of sterilization and birth control. This type of female sterilization is permanent and it's mostly of course or it's mostly seen in those type of women who are sure they will never want children. Then there is a chemical method to control pregnancy. It's a chemical which kills sperm cells called spermicide. It's used along with the diaphragm which is a soft tomb made of latex or silicone. And finally to prevent union of sperm and egg and implantation there are two methods. One is intrauterine device and another one is intrauterine system. Let's see the intrauterine device first. In intrauterine device, it is a small, often T-shaped birth control device that is inserted into women's uterus to prevent pregnancy. Like we have copper IUDs that primarily work by disrupting sperm motility and damaging sperm so that they are prevented from joining with an egg. Then there is an intrauterine system which is a small plastic device that is inserted into the uterus by a doctor or health professional and slowly releases the hormone progestogen into the womb. It works by causing the thickening of cervical mucus, thus making it harder for sperm to pass through the birth canal. And finally we have the last method that's morning after pill or we can say plan B one step method. It's the emergency contraception that's used to control pregnancy. People sometimes call it morning after pill but it can be taken any time after having intercourse. The pill contains levonorgestrel which is used in lower doses in money birth control pills. It may prevent or delay ovulation or it may interfere with fertilization of an egg thus controlling the pregnancy. This was all about contraceptive methods for female. I hope you like the video. If you like it give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to this channel. Thanks.